The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Void control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hang murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon I see Kumo ye. God save the queen. Broadcasting live from ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas, welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And of course, I'm a member of the local Christian Catholic community. Well, today I'm having my friend, my corner boy, join me on the show. So I'll start off early by introducing him. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please, I invite and I greet a senior man in the Bainstown and Grandstown constituency, a Negro man with a pure in heart, a man of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to Freedom Arts my brother in the social and political struggle of our nation, Brother Derek Ambada Thompson. Brother Thompson, welcome to Freedom March. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Well, since you and I grew up in Bainstong and Grandstown, let us show the younger people how to live. Would you kindly give me a bump? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is so Welcome, powerful. welcome. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Ambada is a powerful man in his own right. Yes, sir. And of course, he is the father of the Minister of Social Services, the Honorable Lanisha Rule. I'm certain, Ambada, you must be very proud that you have a daughter who has been elected to the Honorable House of Assembly. I'm certain that you are proud. I am, I am. This is powerful. So just relax. I have to run on for a few minutes. And then, Ambada, you are the guest of honor. So just, as, just relax. So folks, here in the Bahamas, the politics becomes more intriguing. And we here, because in my case, I'm playing journalism. See, I'm not the real thing. The real thing are the Negroes that menace curse out. And he's right to curse them out with their stupid self. They are so stupid that they were unable to judge Minnis' character. Now Minnis is prime minister, and he won his pound of flesh. Minnis, I shall deliver Candia to you because I know the many days that she has had you upset. And so, Menace, I shall pass to you that beautiful brown-skinned damsel. And I would hope that you do to her what you are quite capable of doing to charming brown-skinned damsel. So, folks, I want you to lay back. We can look at everything that is happening. We can even look at Father James Palacios, because I'm tired of Father. I am tired of Father James Palacios. So I had to pick up my file again because I smell a Palacios contract somewhere 
And I wonder if Palacios is bending down. Father, stand up. You're God's man. Don't worry about the contract. I'll be right back. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and in the second round of my show, I expect a number of alumni from CC Speeding to join me. Well, my special guest today, ladies and gentlemen, is the Honorable Derek Ambada Thompson. Derek and I, we both live in the Baines Town and Grandstown community. Ambada, once again, I welcome you to Freedom March. Hi. Uh, thank you, sir. T t hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before we go into the politics, Ambada, um, you are getting married. Am oh, I yes. correct? Oh, yes. I'll be getting married on the 26th of November at 2 o'clock at the Seven Day Adventist Church. Those, Wellington Street. Those to Wellington Street or from Myla Butler or Fluid Road. Yes. And those nice, wonderful Seven Day Adventist people. They are they are peop they are they are caretaker of the people. This is powerful. Yes, they are and caretakers. of course, um, you are marrying Miss Two Saints. Am I correct? Yes, yes. She's a nice, Asian lady, and I don't dis I don't discriminate because for a in my sixty five years through Saint Joseph School and every school I been to, my best friends were Asian people. But this is good. Tout le monde Asian. Monsieur Derek Ambida Thompson, mm -hmm. uh, Papa Lee, pour minister responsable pour social service. And it's Sunday you're getting married, right? Yes, the Sunday march, at 2 o'clock. The match of Mini, Monsieur Thompson, Maye, Yon Fam, Aïsien. And they are all welcome. And Edi, tout pebio Aïsien, bienvenue. And Mr. Thompson says, he does not discriminate. Does not but listen, discriminate. did you give me an invitation? I give you an an invitation and every every minister in the House of Assembly and every pastor in Bain Town and Centerville. And, and of course, all around the did country. Did you give Papa one? I I give to my honorable first prime minister and best friend and brother. I took his own myself yesterday okay. with his candy. And by Papa, who do you mean? The Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram. This is powerful. Uh, this man brought the Honorable uh, Hubert Menes and Tommy Twainquist to me 20 years ago. Cause wow. 20 years ago, and he brought them to my stall because every morning he used to come to my stall. And who, who used to come to your stall? The, the, the Honorable Hubert Ingram, Tommy Twenquist, Carl Battle, uh, the the young folks, all of them, because they all, they know from which they came from. This is powerful, yes. and I'm so happy to hear it. Now, yeah. um, what I want to find out from you is that you are the father of the Minister of Social Service. I am the father, the beginner, the maker of the Minister of Social Service. This is powerful. Shh. Now, I know that early in your political struggle, you worked with the former PLP representative, Mr. Alfie Maycock. From which every every minister and every everyone start from, from the PLP. This is powerful. Yes. And I am now that your your party is in power, now that the FNM is in power. Um, would I be correct to say that before the FNM came to power this time, the PLP government never discriminated against you, never and you were able to get work where? I was, I was able uh, to get work in every corner of this country, Camp Road, Fox Hill, Bainton, everywhere. And this work would have come through urban renewal? This work... Uh, came from the first urban renewal 
from Urban Renewal and from Ministry of Works. And of course, this would have been during the reign of the PLP. Am I correct, comrade? Yes, yes. Everything starts from the PLP. Now that the FNM is in power, have you been successful, my brother and comrade, in getting little work, taking into consideration that everybody knows you. Everybody knows that you are an ordinary man with lots of love. And any job you get cannot be corruption nor nepotism. What has been your experience? Are they treating you fairly unjustly, my brother? Starting off, starting off, uh, the Honorable Hubert Menace, uh, he was coached by the, by the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Hubert Ingram. And uh, as he came in, he was trying to get in and really he was he was a uh, uh he was he was a f and m candidate and he said mr umberdark from which you came i came to you i with a i with a heavy heart i am going to uh you have worked for you but ingram for years and really he have he have only give you the small fries off off that uh, off that party. You're saying that Prime Minister Hubert Minnis Hubert told Ing you yes. that former Prime Minister Ingram only gave you a small part of the pie. Of the pie. And now, really, he want to help me. And he, and, he, and he told me, he said he knows my struggle oh, uh, for being town because his father, his father, Mr. Uh, Minnis, Mr. Honorable, Yes. Old man, Mr. Menace, he's my friend and my pal, and we rally around his son just to make his son great. Now that the FNM is in power and Menace has all the powers, mm. what has been your success? Have they given you any of the little job them? It seems like really, uh, like when the governors get tough, all of these young ministers who they start off and who trying to get in power. You understand me? Yes. Like all of them, Jeff Lloyd, Ferrari, my daughter, Now Shana when you Dor say Jeff Lloyd, you mm. mean the Minister of Education? The Minister of Education. And when you say Ferrari, you mean the man the, who's in charge yes, of environment. environment and housing. And when you say my daughter, you mean Minister Lanisha Rose. Yes, she is my daughter. And what have they been doing? They're trying to stop you from getting a little contract? Well, uh, personally, right, uh, from, from the campaign, I've been going through the campaign all of this year. Yes. And we make sure, and I made sure the Honorable Travis Robertson as he came in. This is the MP for being star and for being in one stand. Yes. A little boy coming, dead breaking gun, nothing. Right. This is Travis, hey. you mean? Yes. Uh, okay. Travis, hey, Travis Robertson. And then really, I look at him because you know I know about power. Yes, you do. And I turned around and went an SD. Yes. I said, Travis, the Honorable Minister, Yes. Uh, the Prime Minister at a, at a, uh, the candidate uh, for being uh, uh, for uh, being some no, Mr. Hubert Menace. Okay, told me I must rally around the young people. Yes, and and put them and give them hope, uh, help and hope. Yes, put them in power. Make sure they are strong. Uh huh. I had me about eighty thousand dollars in my kitty. Wow. And I turn around and I share it with. With Travis. Travis, my daughter, and a couple other ministers by campaigning and embracing them on. Wow. Now, as we go on now, uh, I know really, like, Mr. Hubert Menace try my daughter in Bantan. As she didn't want really, as she said, the Bantan people can't a little... Little poor shame on running there. She didn't want to run hey, in and Bain he, right. okay. And he carry in Centerville. As she say, Perry got too much of money, shame on run there. Okay. So now I said now I got some aunties and uncles and 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 grand pe grand people in Seabreeze. Yes. 
So I know my people told me, said, Mr. Carl Battle is not representing them well. This is in Seabreeze. In Seabreeze. The Attorney General, Carl Battle, mm. was not representing them, them well. well. Okay. So, so, uh, so they really said, Mr. Ambedak, why don't you bring us someone who can help us? And who did you take? I picked my daughter. My goodness. She, she was a PLP. She was not an FNM. Your daughter was not FNM? No, she was, she was, she was a young girl with no, she was a, she was a lawyer for 19 years. Okay. Waking, uh, uh, no, she was a police officer uh, for 19 years. Right. And really, she wakes in SIB. She was in SIB? Yes. Goodness and, of mercy. This and is powerful. Really, and after a while, two, three of her comrades got assassinated because, uh, you know, SIB investigate police officers. Okay. So now, and police will kill police. Okay. So when she see two or three of her comrades got assassinated, she say, Daddy, what I must do? What did you tell her? I said, look here. I just finished. Refurbishing Eugene, you preached a school for, for the Honorable Hubert Ingram. Okay. And the Orville Turnquist is the president. I said, I can speak for you. And, and if Paul Farkerson resigned from being a commissioner, but he is not a lawyer. And so I said, now you, as a police yourself, and you not a lawyer, go there with, uh, with Paul Farkerson and two of y'all can get out of code at the same time. This is powerful. Five years after that, she came back to me and said, Daddy, this is an invitation for you to make sure come and watch me take my coat and my cap. Wow. As an attorney? Yes. Oh, I'm, a, I'm so proud of you. Tanya McCartney. This is powerful. Tanya McCartney and Van Monroe, they said, they came to me and said, Mr. Ambedak, your daughter is a great assess to us. Wow. Thank you for having her be our friend. This is and, and they turn around and they put the cap and the coat on her. Then as she went over the hill, she made her office, her law office. Yes. And her husband, like, as she really put him in the shop, you know, but uh, like, he has an attitude. A greedy attitude, a disrespectful attitude. Really? A small attitude is like, I about 10 years ago, I, uh, I walk him down the road so I could marry my daughter. Wow. And make sure, give him my daughter. We don't need nothing, but we just accept him. I don't discriminate because he's half and half. When you say he's half and half. His mother, his mother. It's a foreigner, and his daddy is a Bahamian. Okay. You understand? Yes. I don't discriminate. Okay. So when I look, I think and everything is cool. He took about uh, some pictures with my mother and my family on our side, and he take pictures on his mother's side. Okay. You know what he did, sir? What he did? He keep all the picture f for himself and, and tell my daughter that uh, he paid for this picture and your daddy ain't paid for this picture. And he keep all himself. The only picture my mother and family has is what they take. Okay. I said, my daughter married a devil. You understand me? Okay. So. But talking about that. Yes. My son-in-law. Uh, I hope you send me some of the pictures. Yes. We got to watch these son-in-law. Yes, yes. You know? So, so after... A while, so uh, I turned around, and my daughter came to me. She she know from from from, from which I came with Alfred T. Maycock. Right. He was minister of educate, uh, uh, minister of immigration yes, and true. and economics. Yes. The first minister who represent other people so well. I was young then, mm -hmm. twenty years of age. He, he came to me and say, Mister Ambedak. I want you to be my driver and my bodyguard. Really? So I said, so I said, so me, all I am, I'm a bodyguard, man. I be on the block and I really on those days it it was a lot of Collie and Colombian goal and I used to use that 
make the money and take care of the people. Have party for the children, party for the old people, give them bikes, have a little march on the park for the children. Okay. Anything I make. But you're now safe and you are following the law completely now. Yes, no. Those no. days, it did have to happen. Okay. But now, you see, after a while, my daughter saw me come in sometime as, as a minister, Mr. Alfred T. Maycock. He used to he used to come from at a hospital straight to Blantall Street. Wow. And I was the bag man. Okay. Every Thursday, ten o'clock, he okay. take ten thousand dollars. He said, I'm Badak, go by Shadrach Morris, by the Penny uh, Seven Bank. Well, don't tell us no more of that. I I, I I got what you're saying, right? Why don't we go to the fact that she's in charge of Urban renewal. Yes, yes. Um, are they doing anything to prevent you from getting any contracts? Well, uh, you know, uh, see, from when my daughter, when we win the election in Seabreeze. You're talking about this election just y gone. Yes, this election that's gone. Okay. Through all of my toes and toe on the stage every night, why is her husband hiding? Really? I on the stage. Just make it standing sure. with your yes, daughter. Yes, make it sure she's straight. And he wouldn't go up there. He would not go up there. He's scared of the bullet. So now every time it rain, I got umbrella on her. Any time to march, I got her. Only when time for her to go up, Dad, yeah, uh, the wife say you must uh, uh, uh you must be there. Mind you, my wife was sick. My wife was sick, but I still be on the stage for my daughter. You understand me? When we look, I'll be, I'll be turning around and we win sea, uh, sea breeze. All the campaign money, what minutes them give him, I don't really uh, do the campaign. Like, <laughs> he acts as though, like, really big man green. You know, you know, a greedy, petty man, a greedy, lazy man, $100,000 for each MPs, but he acts as though, like, he's spending. Are the campaign money on my daughter? Really? Yes. Now, I. You hold on now, because we're about to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, my special guest is Ambata Thompson. Mm -hmm. He's talking politics. The FNM having one under the PLP. Ambata got all kind of contract. Algin Allen didn't discriminate against him. Mother Pratt didn't discriminate against him. And Philip Brave Davis. And they put me starboard counselor. And who, who made the stalwart? PLP? And the PLP made him starboard counselor. Starboard counselor. After 10 years being with them. And Ambada, having bought his daughter and the FM to power, when he returns, he will talk about the contracts because Ambada will be given contract or there will be pricing of them out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's a break now. Okay. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka, and praise the Lord, my special guest is my hometown boy. Both of us live in the Beanstown and Grandstown community. Ambada, Derek Ambada Thompson, welcome once again to Freedom March. Thank you, Mr. Monker. Thank you very much, sir. When we talk, it's about the, time. When we talk the adjournment, Ambada and I went through the history of both PLP and FNM. Ambada shocked me when he told me that the PLP 
also made him a stalwart counselor. But of course, we know a man must do the right thing. And he did support his daughter, um, Mrs. Lanisha Roll, who has emerged as the representative of the people them of Seabreeze. And prior to the FNM winning the election, the PLP never discriminated against him. And they give him. Because all of us know that whatever you think about Ambada, Ambada has a pure heart. And I don't care who in charge of a government. Once Ambada shows up, we have a duty to give Ambada contracts because he has no political game. He ain't got none. If the PLP is having a convention and the spirit moves him to go to the convention, I'll he'll go. go. Mm. And when the spirit tells him to go to the FNM convention, he goes. And he loves Papa. And off air, I didn't know that he also loved Philip Brave Davis. Mm. Why you told me off air that you love Philip Brave Davis? What was on your mind then? Uh, Philip uh, Samuel Ninety Knowles is my pal, and I was his bodyguard. Okay. And I was his painter. Right. And yes, go right. Ahead. And he and he came to me one day, and he said. Ah, uh, Mr. Ambadak, this is Mr. Philip Brave Davis. He is my mother's sister's son. Wow. And he is my lawyer. He's my lead attorney. Okay. He this said, he said uh, Brave Davis, I want you to take care of Ambadak. Look out for Ambadak. Make sure Ambadak live because Ambadak made sure I live. Ambada caused me to uh, bring the FNM, uh, bring the, the roots, John Canoe Group in. Ambada caused me to bring the foundation, John Canoe group, uh, group in. And Samuel Ninety Knowles, he was the leader of, of the people. Ambada fixed about 30 churches for me. This is powerful. And that is what Samuel Ninety Knowles did. Okay. He he gave me some change. He said, go by Pastor Wallace. Go by Bain Town Bible Church. Go by C.B. Moss. <laughs> go by pa Pastor Philip McPhee. Okay. And you spend $5,000 on each of these churches. Wow. And That's I powerful. And I went to each church. Mm -hmm. And I spent money on roof fix up roof and put doors all, all over this country are uh, uh, for Samuel Samuel 90 knows then you also and Pedro Pedro and being town you also did Pedro participated in the election Pedro was my lead man and Kevy and couple other men they we were the one who made sure Travis Robertson win we were his best friend because where we go, the people go. Now, when you said Pedro, you mean Pedro who? Pedro, uh, uh, Pedro in Bainton. Okay. So, what attracted you to Bradley Roberts? Oh, well, uh, Bradley Roberts, he's the people's man. Uh, and, if he, and if he see you hiding, he can help you. So, really, when, when Gregory Wall, uh, Gre when Gregory Williams had a little difficulties, Bradley Roberts came to me and said, Amber, uh, I watched you made Alpha T. Maycock a king. So, and I admire you all. He said, I want you to come with me because I admire how you take care of Alpha T. Maycock. He brought money, a cheesecake, and a bottle of wine to my stall. He said, I'm going to be Minister of Works, Ambadak, and I want you to be there with me. He said, I want you to be my driver, like you drive for Alpha T. Maker. I say, I said, uh, Mr. Roberts, I can't be no driver now. I'm a caretaker and a bodyguard. I will pick someone to drive for you. And I pick uh, Shitty. Really? 
I went, Brennan being town and I grabbed Shitty. I know he had a little sickness, but I put on new suit on him and I carry him to Bradley Roberts. I say, Minister, this man can drive for you and I can be in the front on the side looking out for this you. This is powerful. And, and where do you have anything through Kwaku Street? For 10 years, we made sure to take care of the people, build for the people, and take care of the people. And I made sure Bradley Roberts live. But, uh, but then, after a while, he sinned. Uh, and when Bradley Roberts sinned, he got to bring in B.J. Nordic. And Lord, that's one, that one of the stupidest thing I ever did. <laughs> when, I, when I bring in a hog, a hog, and a, and a discriminator of the poor people. And that is what B.J. Nordic is. Wow. This is powerful. And he is the richest man in the Bahamas. He have really houses. I get into him because Bradley Roberts said he got two, two foot place and pills place in Santa Rill. And, and he, he was minister of health. And he brainwashed me, say, man, I'm a dark. I can wait with you, man, because I was doing one really park on South Street there, when people come from the beach, they can sit down and, and relax. Okay. And now, having told me your experience with the PLP, uh -huh. let's now come to this year. How has the FNM treated you as it relates to contracts? As we win uh, the, the government, and I don't. I done take my daughter around to all the houses in Seabreeze. All the felt all over the roof. When now, when we been on the 10th of May, that's the last time me and my daughter see eye to eye. You have not seen her? She came, she hailed me, but she, she her husband tell her, <laughs> your daddy ain't gonna drive you, one of my Haitian friends can drive you. And... The houses you and your daddy check in Seabreeze, we going to let the committee do it. And that is the last time when they had their opening, uh, their celebration opening. My wife did die. And you won't believe me. That young man, that evil young man, did not even come and invite his father-in-law. He tell my daughter, you don't need daddy now. And she take the bait. In return, sir, my daughter, like, she used to have little things selling in the shop because she is, as she wake, he sit down and hide. And, and he takes her money, go away to Miami, buy a little hat and shoes and things. You understand me now? And so she go on and get some, uh, get, get some whoppers, some weird whoppers and, um, and chainsaws. She said, Daddy, I have some chainsaws. Ah, uh, chainsaws, you could buy some because you always buy them somewhere else. And, and you could rent some. But you have not gotten any contract from Urban Renewal? Urban, after the people in Seabreeze, she put Mr. Penn, one of her campaign boys, she put him in charge as the manager of uh, Urban Renewal contract, right? Mm -hmm. And he called me because I was in first, you see. I don't want to be in no contract of interest. I'm a contractor. I have my tools and my men in the community of Seabreeze and being in Grand Stand and Centerville. I thought now, that's my daughter. If she can't really uh, give me nothing, she got friends. She could just say, look here, handle something for my daddy and I can handle something for y'all. That's common sense. That's common sense. No. I check myself. When I look, Mr. Monka, all the roadways and sea breeze I ain't get none. None? My daughter put her husband in charge of all the roadways and he give them to his family. Really? Not, not, not none for my eight boys. Wow. Now, when you say you are eight boys, who do you mean? My eight sons. Wow. And my, and my 50 helpers, men too, who helped me. I leave from being town and went in sea breeze and get an old building with all kind of bush and so forth. And I cut down, and I paint her office and everything. And when I give her the bill for ten thousand dollars, she tell me, "I said, Daddy, don't bring me no bill." 
Wow. And I had me one job here, but then them give me. I still wow. I still got it. Really? Fifteen years ago. Cleaning at a road with roads and park. And he say, I'm the hack. We are building at a road. Get your weed rockers, get your lawnmowers, get your cutlass them, keep the road clean. And that's what I was doing for 15 years. Nobody, nobody could come in power could have stopped that. Because I was determined to keep the road clean. When they turn around, the young man tell my daughter, we don't need daddy no more. Wow. She accept the bait. She tell me, said, uh, say, when she wake, her husband, she is still awake and her husband is handled out of finance. I say, Lord, what a fool I, bo I born. Wow. Because she letting a man run in her money and she doing all the work and I give her all these items so she can win. So I say, have you thought about appealing to the prime minister and meaning Dr. Hubert Minister and saying, PM, listen, I is f and &M. Every f and &M government used to give me a little contract. Yeah. The PLP keep it on. I serve the party because I know that you help um, the young man to been being in grand style. Yes, yes, Travis Robertson. I, I grab Travis. I fix him up. I make sure when in his office, one little old fan, I put tree fan. Really? I put microwave. I put like... Microwaves and and our tea, sanka poster, bread, cheese, everything inside there. What has uh, for he six done? months? When when Mr. Travis Robertson get in, I'm not talking but this but this campaign manager because he he have a campaign manager who lives in uh in uh Another since since Bonnie was area, right? right? Came in our area walking like a woman. You understand me? <laughs> then Careful really, no, no, right. Yeah. And then when I look, a other young man came from nowhere. Uh like uh, he came. He is his driver. You understand me now? These men come from nowhere. So and you've, in all this hard work you have done. Thank you, no little contract? No, no. When I look, Travis came in. And when I look, Travis bring 50 people from the college of the Bahamas. We was eating corned beef and rice, corned beef and uh, donut and grits, <laughs> yes. donut and bread. All of a sudden, these said come in, looking right in your face. And all of my men, see, 25 wonderful young people vote for FNM. 200 disgruntled people vote for the PLP. That's, that's why we kill the giant. You understand me now? Yes. I told Nordic, I said, Nordic, I brought you in being town. I take care of you. I make sure you're a winner. But you show me discrimination and you turn around and you, and you make me think nothing can happen for me. And you turn around and you suffer me cause my wife die because she had a a bladder infection where one of her old boyfriend knock her with a two by four between her leg. Wow. That's you understand sad. me now? That's sad. That's sad. A jealous man. Yeah. And this man she had kids for. Yeah. But he destroyed her. And so not to spite me. He fight me down. You understand me now? And so I told him, I'm gonna let I'm gonna bring a little boy and let him march you up. I thought now I ran my ST, I put Travis and I came around. Time when I look Travis win, the man don't want to talk. The little boy don't want to talk to me no more. Travis didn't want to talk to you no more. Disrespectful. My you understand me? Then when I look, he bring these other men in and women. They don't they disrespect disrespect all my friends. Pedro Trevi, Younger, all of us who, Gregory Williams, Pastor Murphy, he disrespect us. Really? You understand me? Oh, a rude little boy. You understand but, me? Yeah. So have you and him mended your no, relationship? No, 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 no. What else have you seen the MP, Travis? I saw the MP last week in the House of Assembly, and he got the attitude like he, they, they is almighty God, because 
I told his boss, uh, Mr. Diagula, I said, you better try to talk to that, that, that little boy because he ain't yet. And, and he don't know I am on the ground. Wow. I am, and I'm the people's man. You and, are the people's man. And then man. how you can come in being in Grandstand, which in I clean all my life. I have a property on being in being that I, I want to make a being in Grandstand junk home and after school set up after the children. Yes. So they could be after school while the parents them go to work. Uh -huh. This man, this man, you know what he do? He look at me and t tell me, say, ah, uh, say, that's yours, man. He want he own. Really? And my being time. And afterwards, Mr. Monka, his, his campaign manager turn around and let all kind of little boys, them, Travis family, clean. And he, a big man, supposed to be doing big things. Right. He trying to watch us. Who's this watching y'all now? This, this young man called uh, the Aguilar or something like that. Travis. Not, not the minister. No, no. Travis campaign manager. He's also the Aguilar? No, no, no. I said uh, his title is something like that. Like that. You understand okay. me okay. now? Okay, okay. And then really, my daughter in Seabreeze, I went and fixed an uh, estimate of all my aunties and so forth out, my brother and so forth out. M Mr. Monka, yeah. when her husband told her, say, we don't need your daddy no more. Oh, no, he's wrong. Say, we don't need your daddy no more, and we going to let the committee fix all them roof. And you estimate. ain't get a roof? I ain't get nothing in sea oh, breeze. Oh, no. Nothing in sea breeze. Manisha, you're wrong. Yeah, nothing in sea breeze. You're do. wrong, Minister. And my daughter take the bait again. What about what about your son, Omar? Because and, I know and, under the PLP, he had all kind of contracts. Yes, and he turned around, and I brainwashed him to help her so she could win. And when she when she turned against me and him oh, no. and all of her eight brothers and make us look like we ain't nothing she, b because this this man her husband tell her you don't need them no more oh um listen um minister i understand what you're trying to suggest but when it comes to derek amber dark Thompson, nothing he participate in can be regarded as nepotism, even though there are people who would want to say it because Ambada is pure. You are pure brother. Thank you, sir. Who sacrificed for her? And my God, you must he could find hey. one little contract for Ambada. What she did, Mr. Monka. Yes. Her, her manager. Her. Her manager from Urban Renewal called me and gave me two contracts. These are the contracts? Yes. yes. And what happened? And he said, you is the minister's father. I have 200 contracts I going to go do. See, see his name there? It, it, what do you say? You go first. And you, you go estimate these houses. These people have been waiting for two years to get their house fixed. My God. Shane Gibson outsmart them. Now nah, really... They go out, madam, see ya? And you ain't believe me. The next day, my daughter run up there and take the contract. From where? Run to Urban Renewal? And take and tell and tell Warren Albury and this man. Warren Penn, Albury or Warren Miller? Warren Miller and and our pen. Don't the contract is not for where, Mr. Where Mabart was no Bishop Hugh and Hannah? Did you complain to him? I, I can't find them, sir. What, he don't come to work? I, I, I can't find them, sir. You can't I, find Bishop Hewlett and Hannah? No, no, no. It seems like they, they, they don't fool with you, sir. You understand me? And really, a lot of, of FNMs who you make sure they win and you put in power, all of a sudden, are they change. Like, wow. power. The, power change them. Power change them. Ferrari. Romy, uh, Romy Ferrari. Uh, Romy Ferrari. What is he doing? The Honorable Sidney Corley went to his office and tell him, as the chairman of the FNM party, say, Ferrari, this is Mr. Ambada, my friend, my buddy. I am going to Washington to, to be the United States ambassador. Give Mr. Ambada three houses to repair or treat a bill and do something for him 
as long as he, he live. You understand me? Because yes. he's my friend. Ferrari tell Sidney Corley, don't worry about Amber Dark. Amber Dark straight. Amber Dark this and that. Did he straighten you? Nothing. This, he have not. The onlyest person give me a job. In Ferrari office is Shannon Cartwright. Shannon Dog, a you young, sometime. wonderful man. Cause I go in there crying. That's my MP, you know. I go in there crying. My God, I said, I said, Shannon my daughter treat me like a dog. You told Shannon Dog. Yes, I said, Shannon my father, my daughter treat me like a dog. But Shannon Dog help you. And Shannon say, No, Mister Ambadak, you do too much for her. How she could turn against you and you bring her to the FNM? When Butler Turner was fighting her down, you fight Butler Turner down for and you threaten Butler Turner so Butler Turner could really uh, leave her alone. And when I look, her husband tell her, resign, resign f f from the Senate. If you and Butler Turner can't agree, because he had a little mind all oh, kind of way. Now be careful now. No, no. no he had his little mind all kind of way, a husband. So. When I look, he called me, Dad. He calls you Dad? No, Dad, you trying to put my wife in politics. And Be careful now. Yeah, you, you, no, yeah. no. Don't say, say everything. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you trying to put my wife in politics, and I'm, I want you, I want to know politics. That's you, what he said. You trying to cause my Which, marriage. I said, sir, you all come to me and ask me for help. I to get in my party, my FNM party, I was in for 47 years. Wow. You understand me, yes. huh? Yes. You, you know, and really, because I start off with Cecil Wallace Whitfield. Yes. And we go on to, when he was leaving, when he got sick, he asked me, Amber Dark, Who's what I would do. So Cecil Wallace Whitfield. Cecil Whitfield. Wallace Whitfield. He said, Amber Dark, I say, sir, it's a man called Hubert Ingram. Wow. Penland, per, uh, let, there we go. Excuse me, and let him go. But Hubert Ingram did not bend to Selinden. Perry Wallerbach and the woman. Okay. I said, uh, I said, pick Hubert Ingram. You told successor <coughs> to pick Papa. I said, because I was, I see, when successor leave the PLP, right? Yes. In, in 19... 71. 1970. 1970. Ready, leave the PLP. Man, your history is I was, I was working for Alpha Team Maycock. And you know what I did? He leave that Sunday. And I leave that Tuesday. Wow. And I fall a successor because Mr. Alpha Team Maycock, he didn't like girls. Okay. And then I go on. I be in his bodyguard and he drive. And he wife say, man, you, you, just keep, you, you just pick him up six in the morning. I just bring him back six in the night. If he fooling with these girls and they and they all, and they carrying on, talk to him. Okay. The wrongest thing I go and do is talk to the Alpha team maker. And what happened? Man, the man draw a shotgun on me. Really? The late yes. Alfred T. T. Maker is deceased. Just for the record. Yes, go ahead. yes. And he draw a shotgun on me. He say, man, my woman tell me, say you say. I is a fool. I said, no, sir. I said, I tell the lady, for God's sake, man, Alfie, don't fool with those little girls because they can destroy you just like I tell BJ Nordich. Okay, D don't go into no, no. too much. You, you tell me? I tell them, don't fool with too much a woman when you got your wife. They love women. They love girls. Okay. You understand me? So... I tell them, respect your wife or why your wife coming to me being a driver and your bodyguard. So, so when Selendon fire Cecil. Uh, Cecil, he gone. Was he was minister of education. He gone. And I follow to Cecil. Wow. And we was on the street corner giving out papers. Me, My God. Isaac, up and down. Listen, hold on because we're going to take mm. a break now. My special guest today is the father of the Minister of Social Service. Services, Lanisha Roll. Ambada, <clears throat> as he has explained, is a successful <clears throat> Wallace Smithfield FNM. And for successor to be dead for 27 years and the FNM having come to power, 
and treating Ambada like this is a national disgrace. I call on the FNM to give Ambada some of those juicy, juicy contracts like they give more. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live from ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka, I'm a Justice of the Peace, and of course, my special guest this afternoon as I await the arrival of former students of CC Speeding. Well, praise the Lord, my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll, has joined us. Spiritual advisor, I'm so happy to see you. What's happening? Uh, another thing, Mr. Monka. All is well? All is well. Good and afternoon to you I'm and a pleasant good afternoon to you guests. You, you should you? know Mr. Derek Ambada um, Thompson. He is the father of Minister Lanisha Roll. Okay. And of course, Derek Thompson lives in polling division number one of the Bain Sound and Grandstown constituency. Mm -hmm. He's always been a hero in the revolution. And when successor left Pinling in 1970, according to Brother Amber Dark, successor left that Sunday and Amber Dark left on Tuesday. Tuesday yes. It is powerful. Yes. It is so interesting to note how FNM history does not record Amber Dark leaving. But thank God, he's here on Freedom March, and he's teaching the history. Ambada, would you just hold on for a few minutes mm. so that I may engage my spiritual advisor and to inform the public that on Friday, I think it was, I revealed to you that TB had been confirmed at Aaron Bailey Senior High School because the Minister of Health or the Bahamas government had issued a statement telling us that there was an outbreak of tuberculosis on the island of freedom, Elutra. And then they told us eczema had it. And then later on, they revealed that Aram Bailey had it. I then proceeded to warn people in my neighborhood. I pointed out to them, I was not being discriminatory, but it was very important to take note that I had observed a number of Negro students in the community and that we cannot discriminate, but we can take certain preventative measures. The Minister of Education, the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, in a clever attempt to undermine my argument, spoke to the Nassau Guardian, and on Saturday past, there was the story. And as I read the story, I hate to tell you it, but I might as well say it, because I am sinning in my heart, and therefore, I'm sinning. The article was an attempt to undermine what I was saying. But Jeff Lloyd will come to learn that not only do I have good contact in the Bahamas, I'm a man who has the gift to discern. I'm a man who could see things, hear things, and know things. And I'm not offended or ashamed to declare that publicly. I know things, I see things, and I hear things. Now, today, I'm receiving report that Aaron Bailey had to close. I'm also receiving report that at least eight Negro teachers may have contracted the disease. That's the report that I have received. And that at least two Negro students also contracted the disease. It is the level of irresponsibility on Negro leadership, such as Jeff Floyd. Huh? You're going to cause an epidemic in this country. And I am man enough to be responsible and to say it. Because too many political games are being played. If we are playing a country, 
Isn't that what we're doing? We're playing nation. So we're playing nation when we know that an epidemic is on the horizon. We do what we have to do because I want to believe that no politician is personally responsible for epidemics. And so it is to be noted that that is the report that I have received. You will note that when the Minister of Health advised us last week about the tuberculosis scare in the family islands, he talked about certain um, tests that had, that had occurred and the need to do further examination by X-ray so that the chest, the lungs, can be seen to determine if there is an infection. I pointed out to you that one of my visits to the Princess Margaret Hospital, members of the staff in the X-ray department pull me on the side as they look around, recognizing that Minas is a spiteful politician. And they said to me, Monka, our first fear is that we know that radiation is escaping. That's what they told me. I didn't make up that story. I didn't ask anybody any question. But the people, them, they know that I love them and I'm concerned. And if they tell me, I'll talk it from the mountaintop or praise the Lord. And they said, extra, the radiation was escaping. Now, they also drew to my attention. These are scientific things that they say, right? A lot of which I do not understand. But I understand sufficiently that you need a good working x-ray that one will not expose the technicians to deadly radiation. And two, in order to scientifically apply the x-ray to determine if the people, them lungs are affected. The x-ray got to be good. Don't get mad with me because I am an FNM who is in love with the PLP. And who can understand that? Tough luck. But I have a duty to tell the people them. And I would have told the people them if Philip Brave Davis becomes the Prime Minister in the morning. The X-ray ain't waking. Philip Brave Davis will hear it like Minnis will hear it. Thank you. So, that is what we are faced with. The fact <coughs> that the machine ain't working. Jeff Lloyd, be careful. Because I have you monitored. And I want you to pray and fast. Because I know you are under a lot of stress. I, want, I know it. You are under a lot of stress. So just relax and do what I do. When I'm under stress, I talk to people. I tell them I'm under stress. I complain. And by the time they finish counseling me and praying for me, my stress is run gone. away. My spiritual advisor, have you heard... Anything about RM Bailey School? Yeah, um, the news is reporting that um, apparently there may be about eight teachers and about two students who have tested positive for the tuberculosis um, mm. virus. Um, remember now, they had placed a, a test on the campus where people were given the shot just below the skin and they would wait for a couple of days and once there is some reaction to it, it means that um, that person is, of course, positive. So I think um, the Minister of Education, um, Ms. Jeffrey Lloyd, had announced that uh, what they had planned to do is to contract um, Frank Hanna Cleaning Company to sterilize the entire school. I think that is the uh, proactive approach. Well, I wouldn't say proactive, but that is the approach they're taking now to um, see if they could deal with any further um, infections. Um, so is, Frank Hanna will sterilize the, the school? Yeah, the, the entire school, yes. And yeah. what will the government do in view of the fact that that school perhaps has anywhere between 1,200 and 1,500 students? Mm. 
How do they propose that's, to deal with that? That's grade 9 to 12, right? That's Aaron Bailey. That's a high school, right? It's a high school. Grade 9 to 12. Um, I didn't hear anything about that, but um, I guess that's the approach they're taking for now. Okay. Right. And what you are telling me, the news applies that information to the minister, Jeff Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Mm -hmm. So, folks, it is interesting to note that the minister, the game that he played on Saturday, I read the Nassau Guardian, and I said in my heart, what a wicked, wicked minister he is. He's wicked. Take it from me. I could see wickedness from a distance. Lord Jesus, it is my prayer that you will guide my tongue and you will keep me from the spirit of wickedness for I know I'm a sinner conceived in some of the greatest sins that man can commit. But Jeff Lloyd is a wicked, wicked minister. But Jeff, I want um, you to stop it. Um, Mr. Monk, you hear me? Mr. Monk, Hold on a second, my spiritual well, advisor. I will have I, you yeah, give I, me the scripture I after to... I finish calling him wicked. You read Saturday Nassau Guardian? No, I didn't read the Guardian. Well, my spiritual What's advisor. Story? What's the story in the Guardian? He was playing a game. Jeff ain't too much older than me. Or, 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 huh? He's playing a game. <sighs> and Jeff, I want you to know. I want you to listen to what I say. One of the gifts that God has given to me is the ability to discern. Go ahead, my spiritual advisor. I mean, if you're going to criticize um, a member of parliament, right, do it in a decent fashion. And what would be but, but, but the, the decent the, way the, to deal yeah, but to, with a man yeah, but call, whose practice yeah, but has to, been indecent? Yeah, but to call somebody wicked is a bit overboard, though, Mr. Monk. My spiritual advisor, you, know, you have not seen him in his full wickedness. You know, the acts may seem wicked to you, but, you know, have you studied them carefully before you judge him? You him? Know? him? I've been studying him for years. Uh, I think that's a bit harsh. I think you should retract that. No, sir. Remember that I call him TV? wicked. He's a wicked man. Go read Saturday Nassau Guardian. Ah, uh, anyhow. Yeah. Meanwhile, folks, there was another Negro shooting today. You would recall that last week Thursday, a Negro hitman went to St. Francis St. Joseph Primary School where a Negro father was waiting and, of course, shot him and in the course of the shooting i asked friends to go and took a look at the crime scene with a view of advising me and i told you how i visit the school and i came to certain conclusions and i said to you i am praying over whether or not i should tell you i have now decided that I shall keep that to me and those whom I have privately shared it with. So last week, Thursday, a shooting in the constituency of Fort Charlotte. Then, on Sunday, there was another shooting where a Negro male was shot. And to date, the authorities have not told the people of Fort Charlotte and particularly the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And then, another shooting, where a Negro man was shot, so we have had at least three shootings in that constituency in a matter of days. Meanwhile, Marvin Daines has reportedly went on vacation. I didn't realize that Friday was Black Friday, and during Black Friday is when they need to go to Miami. I don't know if he is back. I hope his first cousin, Juan Ria, who wants to defend him, defend him, would call and tell us. And then in that constituency, the parliamentary representative, what's his name? Who's the MP, my spiritual advisor? Which constituency for is Fort that? Charlotte. That's um, uh, the young man. 
Um, Come on, man. He's a former journalist. Yeah, he and the, the former chairman the school, of the I DNA. Forget. You don't uh, know Mark? Mark Humes. Mark Humes. Goodness of my you're not covering remember, up, eh? I can never remember Mark's name. I don't know why. Uh, I, just <laughs> think about and Mark we the school together. Anthony. Yeah, Mark Humes. Yeah. Mark Humes. So, yeah. Mark, the people await leadership, okay? Because today, a Negro constituent told me about the crime. I listened to him patiently, thank him for the information, and then I said to him with a smile, Fox, your MP. They won't be in the house. They won't claim that they're political leaders. But when the shots start licking off, Behind. and the shot comes mm -hmm. to an end, they have not emerged to guide and to lead my Negro people. Mark, you live in the constituency. The Negroes live in the constituency. Come on, man. Man up. Guide up your lines. Oh, guide up your lines. So that's what's going on there. In the Nassau Guardian is a group whom I shall accuse of attempting to finger justice because justice can be stopped in its most vital parts. And so it is interesting that a group has gone behind E.J. You know E.J.? Edmund Lewis Jr., a young man, that I'm wondering what they want. Spiritual advisor, grab the Tribune, see if it's in the Tribune. I thought it was in the Nassau Guardian. A big photograph of E.J. Y'all cut on my light, uh, cut on my t clock, eh? And I ask them to leave EJ alone. What y'all want? Y'all want blood? Huh? You got your pound of flesh, but you can't have no blood. Do you find it? It's in the Tribune. There is a force of lesbianism that is taking place in the country. And I do not get into people's sexuality. Mm. All right? Because <coughs> I always believe. Thank you. That as an old man, sex is reserved exclusively for young people. I hate to see old people have sex. Sex is for young people. Now in the Tribune, a young woman who when she identified herself politically, she decided that she had to be given a sexual label. I believe that if you are into politics, you need not tell people you are gay, lesbian, or sad. I just, need, I just think you should say, listen, I'm a Bahamian, and this is my political agenda. But when you start putting label on yourself, I become concerned because is it important if you think you are gay and yet unhappy, if you think you are a lesbian, but you ain't come from the country called what, my spiritual advisor? People from, who are lesbian are from where? Must be lesbia. <laughs> All right? So, here is a woman by the name of Tadil Burroughs, an independent candidate in Elizabeth constituency. And she loved to tell people that she's a lesbian. So I'm concerned when people give themselves sexual identity yes, yes. and they begin to advance Bold. certain Bold. political sexual argument. Bold. I wonder what it is. Now we know that EJ was on trial and a magistrate heard the case. I was in the court, so I depend on the judgment of the magistrate. And the magistrate gave them a conviction on the fact that a stupid section of the law gives a 16-year-old female the right to say, let's have sex, but denies her the right to say, let's make a movie, let's film it. It's silly and contradictory. Read. <coughs> and so, I don't know what this is. Listen, I'm on live TV. 
trying to curse out to Neil Boros. So you better hang up. Hang up. Call me back. This is Rodney Manka. Because no force will stop me. I'm on the show. Okay? Call me back. L listen, call me back. I'm on TV. All right? Uh, I'm on TV. Lord, may the forces of evil just relax. Now to Neil. Uh, goodness me, the, my, my Negro. No, that's, yes. Let me, let me hang it up for you. You just have to touch it. Oh, well, I, 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 right. So, what do we have? To Neil Burrows, having heard that the, uh, the government has announced that they are appealing it. So if the government has announced that they are appealing the matter, which I think that Carl Battle should leave alone. And Carl, guess why you should leave it alone? Code one, code two, code three. And I ask Ezekiel, when you see Carl Battle, speak to him in the language which I have authorized you to speak. So, what do we have? Tenille Burroughs has decided that she can defend children. So, she has a group called Local Child Rise. Local Child Rights Advocacy, uh, Advocacy Group, Rise Bahamas, has launched a petition to lobby for legislative change following the conditional discharge of former police officer accused of producing child porn videos. When we know it is not child in the sense of what we here in the Bahamas understand child to be. These were all adults who the law say you could have sex. The law doesn't prevent two and three people from having sex. Now, I can be honest with you, I'm not sure. So I sent a message to Wayne Monroe. Wayne Monroe, let's have lunch again because I've discovered that I understand the law best when I'm sitting down and dining with the QC. The law does not prevent adult citizen two or three from having a relationship, or as the Haitian would say, doing things. Now, morality may step in, and some people may say it's not good for two and three people to fit a guy. But that is what they did. And this country turned into voyeurism as they sent it all over the country. I've been to a meeting when a Negro man who I thought was saved and sanctified began to talk about how E.J. was handling things. And poor me, my mind went political. And when I discovered what he was talking. I said, listen, you keep that right over there. I really don't want to see what these young people are doing. But now there is an attempt to interfere with the judiciary. I asked the Neil Burroughs, whatever her claims to fame may be, step back, leave EJ alone. It was normal sexuality. One man and two women. Normal sexuality. These in our children. One was 17. One was 19. So what this is? Huh? What is this? Now, if these were baby children, people under the age of sexual consent, I could understand that. But if EJ, a 17-year-old female, and a 19-year-old female decide that they can shock up, commit sin, and videotape the sin. What is this you all are trying to do? Huh? And be careful of me, because as I watch them, who is pointing a finger at him, my mind goes back 40 years ago when one of them did the same thing. And I may pull their file because once you pull the file and it is in accordance with the law, there is, that, there is nothing 
that anyone can do. Leave EJ alone. Leave EJ alone. He has already lost his job as a policeman. And everybody has seen him who were interested. They have seen whatever thing he was doing. Will you please leave EJ alone? And let that young man go on with his life. Let him go and perform the 50-hour sentence. The magistrate, no matter what you think about, magistrate Forbes. He got plenty sense. Do you have something to say to the senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monker, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and of course, my spiritual advisor is in the house, and I have a special guest. Um, Derek Amber Dark Thompson. He is the whole father of a whole minister, minister, the Honorable Denisha Rule. I'm going to bring Derek in in a few seconds because when I took the adjournment, I was complaining over the fact that Tanil Burroughs, a light skinned Negro woman who has professed that she is lesbian, has now formed a new organization in which there is an attempt. When we listen to her argument, she tells us that the penalty that EJ escaped, that the law makes provision for life in prison. This is not a case for life imprisonment. This is a case where young people decide that they are going to engage in consensual sex and they have also agreed that they're going to videotape. We're living in the information age where the Haitians say, as you do for a guy, you record it. I want to kneel to stop it and go find Jesus. That's what I want. All right? And so that is what I say. And I'm prepared to march for EJ. EJ is a young man, and young people do have sex, and they do make certain decisions that might embarrass us as parents. But since we were once young, we also know what young people did and will do. But let us not attempt to create something that does not exist. I 60. And in nine days, I shall be 60 plus. And I've been around here long enough to know what the Negro people and the Kanki Joe people are doing. So that's what's going on. Ambada, mm. you've been with me. Um, you said that that um, th these candidates owe you some big money. Yes, yes. Who owe you big money, and who do you expect to pay? Uh, the Honorable Hubert Menace came to me and tell me, put these, help these young people to be great. And to get elected. Help these young people to get elected. Yes. I went to both of their headquarters. Who? My daughter, Lanisha Roll, and, and the young man who... Who, who said his father is not taking care of him, Travis Robertson. Okay. And, and I spend my money on them by painting, cleaning, campaigning, and, and, and letting some of my workers and, and campaigners bring the people to us so, we, so they can win their seat. How much would you say that Travis owe you? Travis Robertson owes me forty thousand dollars total. Forty thousand. And why? To be campaigning for him, looking out for him, working for him, and bring my people to vote for him. And he owes me that. Forty thousand. And if and and if he 
would not pay it and and if he don't do not want to give me no contract from the government for it the honorable hubert menace will pay it for him <laughs> because he waiting for hubert menace and mr hubert menace will get my bill the honorable lanisha roll this is your daughter now this is my daughter now you're going to charge her too right and 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 her and a lazy greedy husband use me on the campaign and make sure i paint the place i campaign i look out for her and i make sure my family and everybody made her win she owes me fifty thousand dollars then total your daughter my daughter owes me that when i i give her a bill or two she said daddy don't bring me no bill but her husband was spending up all the money and none was now what for happens me. if your daughter refused to pay will you sue her or will hey, you go to minutes mr i am going to mr minutes first because he is the one tell me make sure these young children win even miss emmanuel you ferrari Miss Miss Emmanuel up yes, in Auckland and yes. Island. Yes, she is in charge of BAIC. She give you any contract? She she's a good promiser, uh, and I want her to do promise me no job. What she promise you? She promised me she was she was going to give me a job five weeks ago, and and it seems like she's a good talker. So I want her to be a good woman, and do what she do. Let. Her words speak for herself. Well, you know she's a safe woman. Ferrari, he already. Uh, That's Rummy, the he, minister. Right, of Ferrari, yes. the minister of environment. Don't tell nobody. You give me job, and you ain't give me nothing. You give me a job first, and you make sure I am waking. No contract of interest, cause you you is not my family. You, Travis, or none of y'all. So y'all make sure Mr. Amadak is straight. Or the well, honor, the honourable Hubert Menace, Prime Minister of, of of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, will pay you all bill. And this is what I want, Mr. Menace, do for Mr. Derek Amberdark Thompson, a a fighter of the FNM party, and a and a caretaker of the party. Make Mr. Derek Amberdark Thompson Minister of Nassau. Wow. That is the pay because I am the people's man. Yes, I think you should be. A I minister. am the people's man. Make me. Don't you put everybody ambassador or this, ambassador or that, this and that. And these people ain't waited. And you overlooking a, a person who give you four to five ministers. The Honorable, you see, Hubert Minutes, I cry shame of you. Get your act together. Look out for the soldiers because Mr. Amberdark is changing. Changing on you, changing on my daughter, and changing on Travis, and I'm gonna I'm gonna win you all hard with love. This is my now I invite all you all to my wedding. I expect all of you all to be there. Be there clean when is the wedding? When is the wedding? on the 26th of November. I have all of you all got your invitation in House of Assembly. Food and everything will be for every minister, the PLP and the FNM. This is powerful. I have some people who wants to ask questions. Yes. Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Good afternoon, Mr. Monkok. Hello. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Mr. Monkok. Good afternoon. I am one of the women there. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. I want to find out if you read the Tribune yesterday. Um, what particularly? Uh, Wenzel Rose. Yes. I am trying to find out. He said that the thingam is over full for the pensioners. He saw, he saw like he wants to stop the pensioners to get their money. Uh, he can't do that. I need, to, I need you to look into that. Because I will look into that. Those pensioners that work for government all yes. their life. Yes. Struggle all their life and they can't get their money. It's Tell a Wenzel Rose. Those old people need their money because that's what they're living off well, today. Do you know what they're doing in Auckland? In Auckland, there is no bank. So the people can't cash the um, national insurance uh -huh. check. They got to send it back to Nassau to get cash. I, I have to talk to Sabats. 
Because when I run into that I old man. I see him at that bunker. Yeah, it's a disgrace. I, I don't know what this time about. this is. He got to get permission to open up one little bank in my Africa. mother going to need her pension money. Wow. She going to need that. She didn't wait. She didn't wait for that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. She didn't wait for that. Thank you. Well, and them other rest of old people, them that put their time in government, <coughs> yeah. they need their money. I have to go look for Brentsel. I haven't seen him. Yeah, yeah. speak to him. Speak to him, to him about it inside the Tribune, yesterday Tribune. Okay. That's disturbing news because wow. he was a teacher. Yes, he was a teacher. Anyway. And menace, and, yes. and menace, this is the next one. When you, when you go to the Princess Margaret Hospital now, you, if you don't pay for your blood work, you cannot get it. Really? That's what the FNF yes, is doing? Yes, sir. And, and, and they say as long as you ain't pay for it, they get disposed of it because if you ain't have no money, you cannot get your blood work done. Wow. We have poor people, poor black, behemoth people in the Bahamas. This is powerful. Listen. And they say this the people's time. What, what kind of time, time is, is it? it? Well, I have to talk to Dr. Dwayne Sands. You know, he's my doctor. Right. Look into it, please. I can look into it. Because I wanted a woman them. And listen, I'm the leader of the woman them. And before you go, uh -huh. I want on, when they celebrate International Woman Day, you don't wear, you don't wear nothing with orange. Red. Red. Okay, because I. Yes, sir. I is the leader. Okay. Of the woman them. I yes, sir. Phone call. What? One more warning. Okay, thank you. You all enjoy the well. You all enjoy right. your evening. One okay, more. thank you. One more warning for God save my daughter. the queen. God save the queen, my yes. Negro sister. One more warning for okay. my daughter. All right. One more warning. Give your daughter one more warning. Ah, uh, Lanisha Roll. Uh, yes. Your ministry has has cancelled your father's contract. My God. You didn't have the decency to either call daddy or come to daddy and say, Daddy. They are canceling your contract, and really, I have get, and I have called one of my other friends or, or ministers, and I get something for you to do. Yeah. You, you, and you just act like a little spoiled girl and act like you don't care. My Venetia God. Roll, I came to you and I told you last week when you was getting married, I support you. When I asked you in, in Parliament. Could you support your daddy? You tell me that uh, uh, I cannot support you. I am not your mother. What the heck is this? She don't this, want you to get married to the Haitian woman? No, 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 no. Uh -uh. She, I want her to, to, to get married to her Haitian husband with, with, with respect. Okay. So, so what give her are the rights? A little girl are to come and make sure her f don't give her father that respect. So she married a Haitian? Yes, yes. Oh, I did not realize now, that. Now, and one more thing too. Okay. She canceled my contract, and I want my contract into a job in the other ministry. Can her husband speak Haitian Creole? I don't know. You've never hey, heard him? But the only thing I know is about him. But careful now. Don't cross him. No, 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 no. The only thing I know is about him. Yes. He acts as though. Be careful now. He acts as though it nothing is for my family. Oh, and no. everything is, is for his family. Oh, he's wrong. They told me I got some good no. people. Have you been to And you got some bad have people. Have you been to Papa to complain? I I been no I I I just visit uh Donable Hubert Ingram and I I didn't complain. But I been to Hubert Menace. And you complain. And I told the Honorable Hubert Menace, it's time now. Look, my daughter's not doing anything for me. She's not helping me. Look out for me. He that, tell me, he tell he told me I'm gonna look out for you. That was over two months ago. Oh no, Dr. That was Menace. over that was over two months ago. Oh no, and he, wrong. And, and he done give everybody ambassador this yes. ambassador. It is time you give Lanisha Rolls father his right. Yes. His skin. Because you fight for and, it. And what I fight for, for you. Let's take some fun. And this country. Hello, welcome to that, Freedom Match. That is you. Huh? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Monk. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. Glad to hear. And God save the Queen and all her royal family. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mr. Monk, I'd like to send a birthday shout out, if possible, please, to Mrs. 
Leone Hebron Buchanan. Okay. She's from the Hebron to Black Village, as you may or may not know. Right. And I just it's coming out from Chantez and all the Hebrons them within Garden Hills and the Hebrons in Black Village. This is powerful. They are my people. Mm -hmm. Leone Hebron Buchanan, I know that you have professed to be one of the women them and we wish you what? A happy birthday, right? This is powerful. Take good care, young man. Thank well, you. All right. Hello. Welcome to Freedom Match. H Hello, Mr. Manko. Sir. H how are you? Listen, I'm struggling with all this political problem. How they victimizing Amadar. What's happening? Uh, 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 okay. I, I am Sam Williams. I'm calling from Freeport, hey. Bahama. Thank you. Uh, and, and, and everything uh, what Mr. Amadar said is true. Okay. Man, long time, man. I, I was uh, uh, an F&M general for 22 years. Really? I, I am a Cecilite. Yes. Uh, and when Cecil died, it should me like a date. Really? And these F&M, they're the most ungrateful uh, the, the demons uh, 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 that ever lived. Wow. Uh, they, they have no gratitude. Uh, they are mean, selfish, uh, and they are only... F they're only for the rich. Special interests. Special interests. They, uh, they do not care for the poor people in this country. Listen. Uh, I, 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 they are nothing but a host niggas. Wow. I thank you. I got plenty of people I, I, on I, the phone. I'm to their masters. Sam uh, so Williams. Uh, I'm a dog. I, 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 I am sympathized with you, and I just feel your pain. This is powerful. The Listen, I got to let you go because they tell me more people, people like there. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Freedom Match. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello, my dear. How are you all today? Amada? Uh, hello, ma'am. How are you? Sir. I'm very well, sir. Sir, I, Mr. Amada, I feel your pain. But it just goes to show you, you know, the people will use you when it's convenient for them. And when they finish, they have no more use for you. Thank but you, I do trust that you will get something to do in very short order. However, uh, gentlemen, I just have to call today, Mr. Amada, when you made some comments about Dr. Nottage and Mr. Alfred Maycock. Um, I, I know that you said you know those persons, but you know, it's often it's always said that we should not speak ill of the dead. Those two gentlemen are dead now. They cannot defend themselves. And I think it's the comments you made was somewhat a bit unkind. And so I think probably in the way forward, that probably even when you're speaking about other persons, that you be careful, you know, what you say about them. Because the comments that you made about Dr. Nottage in particular, I found it to be very somewhat disturbing so i just felt that you should that i should call you and say that's that's just my opinion yeah. you know everybody's entitled to their opinion but i think like they always said you do not speak ill of the dead and it's, it's no harm intended so i hope that you take it in the light that i'm offering it to it's a constructive criticism it's nothing personal yeah. you don't have against to respond you to that. i will you will respond okay. ah, could, uh, I, uh, could i answer you yes sir yes, yes sir. when i was in being and grandstand suffering when the people on 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 the parks couldn't couldn't get a bathroom on the park when the children them playing and and mr bernard knowledge he was minister of national security getting a hundred million for, <laughs> for police a hundred million for the defense force a hundred anyway million my dear thank you very much for everything um, but let's take the next call yes um, you understand um, me hello welcome to freedom march hello yes Hello, Mr. Munker. Yes, how are you? How are you? I'm right here. Yes, um, I have the I had the call in to say my little five cents. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, PLV and F and M until those two parties are completely gone, this country will never progress because they are the same. Thank just you. different names, same party. Thank you, ma'am. You know, sir, they only wanted to get in. See, they they already showing their true colors. Thank you, ma'am. The Thank promise you. he made for the inner city hasn't happened yet. Thank you. And the bread basket. So you know, they they came in, took vacation, then came back, and then or they thinking about themselves. Very selfish. Thank you, ma'am. So they'll never, never get my vote. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank I you. thank you. Hello, welcome to Freedom March. Hello, welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Munker, even though you do have a very good program at times, I think it was very Im inappropriate for your guest to come on and play his daughter. That is awful. She was right in trying to show that there's no nepotism on her part. That's what she was doing. 
And he, he is intelligent enough to know that. And on the other hand, um, Bahamians are like too much slackness. You have to be able to pay sometimes when you go to the hospital. It's unbelievable that we should want to go to the hospital oh, and no, get these something are people for who nothing. are unemployed. We cannot uh, continue get to get something for get nothing. Listen to me, they are unemployed. Yeah, get on And that is the mistake yeah. that the PLP made yeah. in not ensuring that there is national health insurance. Mm. Take it from me. Yeah. I'm in contact with many of them. And they shall be coming on the show one by one. They voted for the FNM. These are poor Negroes. But I hear you nevertheless, and I thank you for your response. In the case of Amber Da, I declare any contract that he gets from the PLP or the FNM, inclusive of his daughter, cannot be regarded as nepotism because the political class recognize that we are grassroots people and we are entitled to contract because they give it to the South. Some got washing machine, some got plane, the Minister of Health, the Minister of, um, um, of Finance. He made sure his plane get everything, mm. but they don't want to give Amada. I got the contract here, you know. And this, there's nothing in conflict because he's been working and Arjun and Allen knew who he was, Mother Pratt knew who he, he was. And they all give him. So it's a successful wallet. They all and give him. him. Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Wh Mr. Monkey, to your guest. Yes, right here, my dear. What's uh, on your mind? I'm not a sister. I'm a male. You're a male. And, I apologize. And, and your guest is very he he he. I lo I love what he is saying on your show, and I must commend him, um, um because because he is talking against. What you've been talking about, and and also being in Grandstown, I live in being in Grandstown, and Travis Robinson, he's doing a very good job, an excellent job. And for the children and for the people right now, we have to spend millions for toilets and, and, and pipes and plumbing pipes have to go under the ground. Where? Where is that happening? No, we have to get ready for, for, for these things, for the toilets to put in the homes. And that is a part of the program now? Yes, and, and he's well, doing an excellent job. Well, let me ask a man who lives in the house. Do you know about Travis them putting down the toilet? Uh, the only thing Travis is really putting down in being in Grunstown. Be careful now. Be careful now. The only thing Travis Robertson is putting down in being uh, being Grunstown, just like most of the mothers in being town. All they do is look out for the hand out, look out for who they can brainwash, and, and look out for Let's themselves. This, this other call. You understand me? Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello. Welcome uh, to Freedom Mass. Go where you're going go. I do yourself. Hello. Plain Speak plain. to me because the father of a whole minister. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? Mr. Monka. Yes. How are you doing? Listen, I'm here under stress. Okay. Uh, Mr. Thompson, um... Some people might not like what he's saying, right. but he spent a lot of money on his daughter yes. during the um, 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 campaign, the campaign Lord. time, Lord. and she's not, um, he's Lord. not seeing her. Lord. He hasn't seen her since the campaign, so he has the right to Praise do what he's Lord. doing, because nobody will know how his heart is hurting. Yes, he don't need to have blood pressure when he's trying to life. hide what she's doing to him. He, what he's doing, he's right for doing it. And I see a uh, spiritual advisor shaking his head, and I'd like to know why he's shaking his head. That's his daughter, and he took care of her when she was a police, and he sent her to college to be a lawyer. He did his so duty. He is unhappy he did his about duty. it. He did his duty as a father. He can do he that. He did That's his duty. Right but she's an F and M. Like he it. did his an duty an as a so father. He invested on her. But hey, spiritual advisor hold on. on. Nobody else. Hello, honey. Could, uh, could I speak? Uh, this young man on, on the side of me, he is a biased man, just like Steve McKinney and the rest. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is I took care of my daughter. Mm -hmm. I brought her to the FNM. I went and I, I spent all of my money witching my wife die on the campaign trail. This man, he is just like half of the FNM and the PLP. They are all biased and all for themselves. What I want my daughter to do 
I, I, let me take this last call. Respect a daddy. Okay, my dear. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Hello. What's on your mind, sister? Talk to me. Hi, Rodney. Hello. I ain't gonna pet you. Rodney. Yes. I love you, Rodney. Listen, I love you. But tell Abadai you don't go on national TV and disgrace your daughter like that. She's this, a lovely person. This is politics. She's a lovely lady. This is politics. And she's doing a good job. Abadai, Abada, continue, con continue with your daughter. Don't give up on her. Could I, I really? Stick with hey, and baby. Hey, could I speak? Thank you, Rodney. Okay. Yes, we'll go. Hold on, I gotta take this last Where? call. Hello. Hello. Speak to me quickly. The clock is running. Hello? Hello? Okay, my, don't take no more call. My spiritual advisor, read one text. Yes, <laughs> let me read a text. Uh, let me read a text. So, as a member of the FNM, you yes. know I'm a member of the FNM. Yes. I want to apologize over I'm, the hog heartedness I'm, I'm me and you. of the party. Yes. Okay? Don't leave the party. No, Stay no, right there. never, never. And you continue to fight. Oh, yes. And? I fight for the people. You fight for the people. And it's the people's time. And I made What time sure is it? It's the people's time. Come on, take a flag. What it's time is it? It's the people's Hold time. What time is it? it Let's blow your hands. It's so the it. Bahamas time. What time is it? And the children time. What time is and it? And it's time young children respect their elders, respect your father, and don't put man over your father. What time is it? It's the people's time. What time is it? It's the people's time. Ah, but, uh, what time is it? Thank you, Lord. It's the people's time. What time is it? It's the people's time. What time is it? Stick to their promise. Promise. And take care of the people. Oh, and don't, Abadab. And don't hold them down and make them look small. Lord, I yes. thank you. Yes, and thank God for, for everything. For fathers like Ambata. Thank you, Mr. What Monka. What time is it? For being a man. What time is it? Thank you, Mr. Monka. What time is it? thoughts. Views and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group, copyright 2017. All rights are reserved.